everybody welcome back to our channel today I'm going to talk to you about my Wonder Woman lasso that I'm going to be making so I'm very excited about this lasso um, I want uh, the lasso to glow up and if you watched our other tutorials you'll notice that all our costumes have lights so I had to have my Wonder Woman costume to also have a light so what I've done is I purchased some items and first I'll talk to you about the LED light that I, string that I purchased, it is um, actually a yellow um, light. It's about 10 feet long and it has a little controller where it'll give you the like three options to um, have it light up all at one time, blink or blink really fast. So I'll show you that here in a second. The next thing I purchased was some rope. It's a twisted nylon rope and it is um, actually three eighths thick and you can see it actually has a soft feel to it and that and that's what I wanted I didn't want something that was going to be really rough or coarsey and um, you can also twist this and you can see the, the three strands are separated but it's actually twisted together so and I'll show you why I wanted it to be that way in a minute so that the next thing I purchased was the tube it's a vinyl tube tubing that um, I purchased at a hardware store. It's a quarter inch thick um, and this is the um, the reason I purchased this was to put the LED lights through and I'll show you why I'm using that. And then also some gold acrylic paint that I'm going to actually paint my lasso at the end. So first of all I want to show you the first step that you want to do is get your LED lights and you actually want to feed it through. If you look here at the end is the, the beginning. I actually put some tape to hold the vinyl tubing to the end of the clasp there. But I fed it through the tubing, as you can see, because I wanted it to be a little bit thicker, um, but also to make my rope a little bit more um, solid. And so, and the way I had to feed it through, it was a little bit of a challenge, but what I did was I first tied a piece of string. You can see like a little piece of string still kind of tied to the end there. And then I got a, a heavy needle um, and I fed it through the tubing. And then I ended up pulling it through slowly and I got it to feed through. And then I, I left a little bit of an end piece off here uh, because when I put the rope in and you, you're gonna finish off your rope, you're gonna have to kind of burn the tip, but I wanted a little bit of an of a gap to make sure I don't cut it too short. So that's the first thing I had to do. So the next thing that you want to do is get your rope. And I didn't cut the rope. I was thinking of maybe, you know, measuring it out and cutting it uh, so it wouldn't be so bulky, but when you're doing the twisting around it, it's going to shorten up, so you don't want to cut it until you're at the end of twisting it around. So first you want to just kind of hold the two pieces together here. And then you want to kind of open it up there. And then see how it kind of twisted it around there? That's what you want to do. So now I'm just going to twist it around and start having the work fit around. The tubing. have finished uh, twisting the rope around the tube as you can see here and it actually is now thicker if you've noticed the difference between the width of the rubber rope and the one with the tube and so just to kind of remind you remember when I told you not to cut the rope the same length as the other um, tube lining that we were putting in because it actually shorted it as you can tell the rope was actually a 25 foot rope 
and now we only have about maybe about three feet left in rope. You can tell here. So now the just to finish it off, I'm going to um, what you want to just kind of do is you want to cut the rope and cut your tubing. Now remember this is the nylon rope so it will unravel so the best way to do is whenever you're going to finish it off you want to kind of like hide it and then whenever you you want to actually burn the tips and so it'll melt it together and it'll have to cover it up there so when we do that but I want to show you um, how it's going to light up and how it's going to look I'm going to turn off the lights here and show you how it looks here You can tell it's gonna the actual light goes through the the rope. There's another option there to make it blink slowly. And then the third option is to have it blinking quickly. And it actually makes it look like the rope is moving, which is pretty cool. Kinda like that one. So now uh, what I'm going to do is uh, we tested an actual the end piece for the rope uh, with the gold paint um, and this is always a good thing to do is whenever you're starting something new test a little piece because you don't want to do the whole rope and then it didn't work. So in this case the color was actually too dark so when I fed it through the tubing with the light on it, let me show you real quick. You could see that it actually ended up being too dark and so if I turn on the light you can hardly even see the light kind of go through there I'll turn off the light and you can see what I'm talking about so see kind of how it doesn't shine through like the rest does so I'm going to find another paint that actually will work a lot better um, and show you that at my at the finished product here. So 